Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Sonic Colors on Nintendo Wii. This is a special Let's Play because I'm going to be attempting something that I never really bothered with doing before and that's doing a live Let's Play. Now, what this basically means is the same as any other Let's Play you'll see out there except I'll be able to talk with you guys before and afterwards and if it's popular, let me know. Let me know in the comments on YouTube. And let me know in in the actual chat, even though I can't read it at the minute. What do you guys think? Anywho, let's begin. Now, Star Colors. Oh, that music. Yeah, this has to be my favorite Nintendo Wii game out of all time, to be perfectly honest. I mean, for me, no other Wii game holds a candle to this. I will be playing with the classic controller because I can't bother for my Wii, not my Wii, my uh, GameCube pad, but there's no big re issue. I'm gonna take a bit of getting used to, though. I'm not used to using this pad. It's really strange. Sega. Alright then, let's just watch the intro, shall we? Well, when is it? Okay, current setting, classic controller. Okay. Hell yeah. So alright, let's get started, shall we? This is without a doubt my one of my favorites of the series. This is probably the best on game apart from generations and some the classics. It means really, really good game. Alright, let's turn off the navigator, because we don't want him. And start. Actually, maybe we wanted the navigator. I don't know, we'll see as we get through. But one thing I do like about this is it starts you right in the stage. It's, you don't, I love it when games do this. They just lob you into the action and do all the story and stuff like that afterwards. Because, let's face it, nobody really cares. And those red those red rings you see are they're pretty nice. They, you can get a nice little bonus if you collect all of them in the game. I think it's 118 total. And I'll be showing off everything, so don't worry. It's not a long game anyway, so... We can't expect any issues like I had with Mario 64 with the whole Hey, let's uh, get 100% and then it blows up in your face. Because I can't be asked to get all the coins in each level. Because that's just... That's a monotonous task. I <laughs> My opinion on Mario 64 has changed since I tried doing the LP. Anywho. Yeah, this is a brilliant game. It's uh... I may be... What? What? Get off of my screen! That is my windows dying on me. Alright, sorry about that. That's a good start, isn't it? But yeah, sometimes I forget this is on the Wii. The, the game, the graphics in this game is phenomenal, especially for the Wii. I mean, look at this. It looks stunning. And I, I'm pretty sure this is the first proper game to use the newest voice cast of the franchise. You know, with Roger Craig's Mr. Sonic and so on and so forth. And they did a very fine job. But, yeah, here we are, Sonic Colors, Nintendo Wii. I was gonna do this 
try out this live thing with um, side 2 first, but I fancy playing this, so why not? It's done a long game. Alright, what do we get? What? B? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, you can break the sign anyway to see if you can scrounge yourself some one ups. Which is pretty good. Like, see, I got one up there. Uh, no, give me that. No, no, no! Let me grab it! Fine. Actually, how many acts does it make you go through before this cutscene? Can't be too many. Oh. Let's get going. But yeah, th like I said, this is. This might be the best 3D game. And a lot of people complain about it being extremely blocky platforming wise, but to be honest, I don't. I don't know, I like it. I like. The only real issue I have with this is there's like barely any 2D. No, there's tons of 2D. There's barely any 3D sections, because. I don't know why. <laughs> but look at this, it looks beautiful. But one of the things I do like about this is the boost in this game is limited. It's not like generations or anything. It doesn't recharge whenever you collect rings. Which means you can't basically destroy everything without worrying about anything. I got a nice little job double jump in this one as well, which I like. It's fancy. Right. And this, I think this might be the hardest Sonic game to get the highest ranks on. I mean, apart from well, SA2 wasn't really that difficult. It was just more tedious because in this you actually have to actively search out things that'll give you. Ow! Oh no, I did not just die. No. <laughs> but yeah, you have to actively search out things that sort of give you. Points. Okay, I'm just gonna bypass all these enemies. Boom! Haha! <laughs> Slide attack. You know, it's basically a um, sp spin attach with a different enemy. Spin attach? <laughs> it's a spin attach. Right. Spin attack with a different animation, but you know. I'm gonna have a ridiculously low rank for this one. Let's see. Ugh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get at least one S rank. I guarantee that. Probably on a boss or something, because the, the bosses in this game are easy. Okay. Cutscene? Yes. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna want to come here. No doubt, but now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True, it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Whoa. Wow, plot or not? Can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people. Buckle up, and Eggman's ultra accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun. I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. If he says so. Stuck on cowboy again. Stop talking and let those aliens. Come on, 
<laughs> I love these two robots. Oh, but we, oh, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. And that's our first power up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's uh, this. Might as well over twenty-five hours. Jesus, we might as well overrate this one. Okay, we can't. Um, yes, I have no use for this file, so why not? All right, uh, Amy. No, that's not my name. D -d -d Jesus, dog. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, choose a me or I can't. Um, whatever, just go for Sonic. It doesn't really matter. Let's go. <laughs> that dog is spinning me out. Oi! Okay. Uh, I'll keep it on just in case, because I don't know if it... I think the navigator can be quite helpful with the warning pits, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, let's do the stage where we get the first power-up of the game, which is the Laser Wisp. Which basically allows you to shoot across in a laser-like fashion. It's pretty awesome. And by here we get the first instance of Quick Step, which makes a return from gener from Generations. This game's before Generations. Before... eh, makes a return from Unleashed. And it works slightly differently because, well... To do it or not to do it? Yeah, why not? I'll show it off. Hehe, <laughs> I love that. Ugh, wrong button! That's gonna happen quite a lot. I'm still getting used to the controls. It's, I'm too used to the Xbox. Xbox? Yes, I'm too used to the Xbox control steam and the Nintendo Wii game. Oh god. <laughs> I did initially try to re well, I didn't try to record at all, but I, I was thinking about recording this initially on the Wii U, but I don't know if it's just me, but I'm having issues with that because the Wii U's Wii menu, the, well not even the Wii menu, just the Wii U's emulation of the Wii, it just, the picture quality is awful, I don't know why. I really don't know, so I'm just sticking with this until... I can figure out what's causing the bad picture quality, because, just be honest, this, this is probably the crispest you get anyway, because it's coming directly out of the console. Unless I was going to go and emulate it, but I can't be bothered to do that, it's too much work. So you know, I gotta get the emulator, I gotta get the sodding eye, so it's, ugh. Too much work for nothing. And even then, it's, I don't know if it'll run very well, so... Oh, you just got owned, bot. But yeah, it's nice. One of the things I do like about this game as well, it's... It's probably the most original of the Sonic games. I mean, you know, more modern ones, because the whole... It's got its own art style. It's more, it's more cartoony looking, it's more... It's, you know what I mean, it's less serious, and I, I like that. Sonic games should not be serious. Look at Sonic 06. That's a reason why you should not be serious. Oh god, that, f that game was horrible. Hey, it ranks. Whoa. Okay, come on, extra life. Come on, extra life. I don't know why I'm scrounging for lives anyway. You don't. <laughs> the game isn't difficult. I'd say after I failed earlier, yeah, but still. And there we go, we unlocked the power up. I like this world map as well. It reminds me of um, Mario games. Actually, it also remind yeah, there's a couple of games that use sort this whole map system. Oh, well, Act Four it is. Oh, this music is funky. Do 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 do. All right, what's this? Um, what have we got to do in this one? <laughs> 